Hi, I'm Tomislav and I work at Shoutum. For the past year and a half, we've been working on the new React Native platform and I would like to give you a quick tour. So, Shoutum is a platform that enables developers to build, publish and manage React Native apps. It's free and completely open sourced. So, let's create a new React Native app. Right now, I'm on new Shoutum.com and I can see here the templates that I can start from. Uh, but I'll actually sign in to the builder so I can create new app. Okay, let me use my credentials. Okay, so these are the, some apps that I already created, but I'll actually start with a new blank app. So the backend is now creating new React Native app and it's serving it to the builder. The builder is the interface, the web interface, where you can manage your native apps. Uh, the goal of the platform is to enable developers to build apps quickly and efficiently. This is achieved with a simple architecture. Apps are divided into smaller modules, which we call Shoutem extensions. The analogy is similar to WordPress. On WordPress, you build a website out of plugins, and on Shoutem, you build mobile apps out of Shoutem extensions. And Shoutem built a lot of these extensions and open source them. So you can find them on Shoutem extensions repository right here. Uh, with all their code, you can fork them, you can tweak them, and you can modify them in the app. So everything inside of the app is an extension. Uh, push notifications, navigations, news list, analytics, uh, onboarding, authentication with famous providers, and so on. Uh, let's start by adding some content in the app right now. Okay, so I'll start by adding the news RSS screen. That screen is in the news extension and actually can uh, receive the RSS feed, such as the next web, loaded. To the builder and this will be shown in our app so here i have a mobile app ready and i'm signed in in the shout and preview uh, and let's click here on the preview on device and i'll open the qr code reader open it it's loading the project and here should be my app okay so my app is here i'll just close this so you can see you see product how now it lets you so we see all the news. I can click on one news. I can check it out and so on. I can also customize it immediately in the web interface uh, for something that I don't need any technical level. So I can go to main navigation. I can change the, let's say that I want to use drawer navigation. And in the news, um, I don't want to use, let's say grid, but list. Okay, cool. So now I've changed this. Uh, and I'll shake my device to get the options. I'll click the reload. And here you can see that I don't see anymore the top bar. Uh, I see a drawer and the news are actually in the list. When I created new uh, application, my app immediately got a lot of extensions which I can use out of the box. But there is also extension marketplace where I can install additional extension uh, to my app or I can create my own extensions. And this is something that I would like to show you now how you can do that. So let me open the iTerminal uh, and I'll use Shoutum command line tool to create new extension and to add it to my app. So I'll just write Shoutum in Hello World, which will bootstrap the extension folder with all the files uh, with me. It will just ask me about some general information about the extension, like the title, version, and description. First extension, it's opening the project and files. It's initializing the packages. Let's go into this folder and open it into the Visual Studio code. Just so you can see how it looks like. Okay, so uh, here I have extension JSON, which contains the general information, which I just inserted. And each extension contains two main parts. So the app part, 
which is like a package which will be installed into the app. So the app and other extensions can use it and communicate as well. And the server part uh, where you can actually have some files modifying and customizing the web interface uh, for the extension. Okay, so uh, let me create a new screen, new Hello World screen, uh, where which will print the Hello World in the middle uh, of the mobile app screen. Show them screen add, Hello World. And I'll actually create it with a shortcut, which is the link to the starting screen of an extension. Since extensions can have multiple screens, we need to know which is the first one. Okay, so this is the shortcut. It will ask me for the title of the shortcut, which will be shown in the navigation. Hello, it will create it and let's open it in the code to see uh, how it looks like. Okay, so both of them were created here in extension JSON and we can see hello world uh, file, how it looks like here. So we have some styles, uh, the class hello world, which renders the hello world in the center with the applied styles. And what you can see here, this is plain React Native. This is your playing ground. Here you can do literally anything. You, you can use here React Native how you're used to using it. Okay, so we are done with our extension. Let's push it to Shoutout. So it's being pushed. In the meantime, when we push the extension, uh, let me just rename this app to Hello World. So we can just uh, have some difference with the other. Okay, the extension is being packed and uploaded to Shoutem. Let's now say Shoutem install to get it installed into the app. Okay, here I can choose which app I want to get it installed. This is the Hello World. And now, I can actually add it into the navigation. So if I go to uh, screens and under the custom, okay, I need to refresh my uh, website, my builder. And when I go under custom, I can see the starting screen, hello world. Okay, it's being added inside. Uh, and let's now preview it on our uh, app. So I can also preview it uh, here for the device, but I can also let um, the Shoutem CLI build it for me. So what I need to do is just say Shoutem run and select which app I want to run. So it's Hello World app. And this will now bundle all the extensions for me this is our output and here is the QR code. Let's scan it. So I just shake my device, open the QR scanner, scan the QR, and let's wait for the app to be loaded. Okay, so here is the app, let's see Hello World. And here is our screen. So once you're done with the app, you can actually use Shoutem to uh, automatically publish it to both stores. So I just go to settings. Uh, I can change the app name, update the launch screen and app, app icons. And also I can update store metadata for both iOS and Android. So screenshots and so on. Once I'm done with this, I can just hit publish and this will get uh, my app published to both Google Play and App Store. We'll handle the review process for you and we'll notify you of the ongoing process. So everything that I covered in this demo uh, is on our documentation on Shoutem GitHub bio. You can check it out when you go to documentation. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.